Now we will study about angle. What is angle? When two straight lines meet, they form angle. One line is coming like this. One line coming like this. One line coming like this. And they meet at point, I will say A, B and C, B. They are meeting at B point. So, angle is formed. Okay. Angles. Why I have, I have told angles? Because there are two angles. One is this side. This angle and one is this angle also. Angle should have two lines. We call them arms of angle. See, this angle has got two lines. One line is this one and one line is this one. So, this is also called arm of angle. There are two angles formed if it is not it, it is if. If two lines meet at a point, I have already explained, two angles are formed. One is this one, another angle is this one. Right? So, AO and BO meets, okay, at O, two angles are formed, interior and exterior. Interior, shown by two lines and exterior shown by four lines not not four i will show four lines understood this will be called interior angle and the angle this side will be called exterior angle next this angle should be mentioned like this A, B and C. Which angle we want to denote that should be in the center. It, it should be in between three alphabets. So, A, B, C means this angle. Angle is in short we can write angle B also. But you do not. Now, do not use this one. Use this one only. This will be used in higher classes. So, we can write it angle B, but not in 6th class. It will be written in higher class. When two lines intersect, intersect, then also they form angles. See, here AB and CD, they are intersecting each other at point M. So, four angles are formed. What are the angle? That is D, M, B, shown by a single line. Then second is a B, M, C, B, M, C, that is shown by a double line. Third angle is C, M, A, that is shown by a triple line. And the fourth angle is A, M, D and that is shown by four lines. Understood? Angle D, M, B also can be written as angle B, M, D. Angle B, M, D. Angle B, M, C also can be written as angle C, M, B. C M B. Angle C M A also can be written as angle A M C. Angle A M D also can be written as angle D M A. Now, a point whether interior of the angle or exterior of the angle. We are okay, we have shown you interior angle and exterior angle, but 
interior angle only we are concerned in this class exterior and angle unless it is expressed or told we will not consider so once we say only angles then we will take it interior angle only so points this point p is in the interior of angle a b c point p here is in the interior of angle a b c point can be here also okay but you see this case point m point m is in the exterior of angle a m a b c you understood we have seen in the figure also interior of figure uh, point interior of uh, figure and point exterior to figure and on the border also same way here on the border also we can have we will show one a b c so here point k is on the border of the line or it is on the arm of the line it is on the side of the sorry it is on the side of the angle it is on the arm of the angle it is on the border of the angle we will see next just we have seen angle what is angle once two line meet it forms a angle when two line intersects they also form angle now see here i have made a diagram b0 there are two arms okay and it is moving in anti clock direction if it is coming just perpendicular to this one that will be made 90 degree okay i have shown by a straight line it is here you understand number 1 if further it makes to b2 from b0 it has come to b1 from b1 to b2 then the angle made is this one is this one it will be 180 degree if it further moves from b0 to b1 to b2 to b3 then position will be like that and the angle made is this one will be to 270 degree the fourth position if this is moving starting from here and taking a complete round and coming to its original position then the total angle formed will be 360 degree understood 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree and 360 degree now we will see another type of angle okay if angle measurement is less than 90 degree that is called acute angle it is less than 90 degree 90 degree will come somewhere here so that is called if it is less than 90 degree it is called acute angle second if the angle measurement is exact 90 degree if the angle measurement is exact 90 degree then it is called right angle third if the measurement of angle is more than 90 degree then it is called obtuse angle so we have understood three types of angle that is acute angle a right angle and obtuse angle we will see further apart from acute right and obtuse angle there are few more types of angles and they are number 1 a straight angle what is a straight angle if the angle form is 180 degree that is called a straight angle complete angle if a is moving from its position and after a rotation comes back to its original position the angle formed like this will be your 360 degree 
and this type of angle is known as complete angle. Now reflex angle, more than 180 degree, but less than, but less than 360 degree located outside. Okay, that we will understand with another diagram. You see, from A, this has moved, arm has moved, moving, 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 it has come up to B position. So, it is less than 270 and angle formed outside, this angle will be known as a reflex angle. We will take the another example, here from A, it is moving and it is going more than 270 degree but less than 360 degree. So, this angle formed is outside. So, that is also called a reflex angle. Okay. How we are measuring angle? It is measured in degree. How to write mathematically 15 degree is equal to 15 and a small 0 over 15 will make 15 degree. If you want to write 30 degree, write 3 0 and over 0 you make a, a small 0 that will be degree. How to write 140 degree? 140 or over 0 you write, see the angle, see the position of 0. So, this mathematically means degree. Next. How to measure a, an angle which is lesser than 1 degree, which is lesser than 1 degree, so there is a 60 seconds is equal to 60 seconds, how we can write mathematically, 60 over 60 to a small oblique line, then that makes 1 minute. How to write minute, one, one single, single oblique line. Then 60 minute makes 1 degree. So, 1 degree equal to 60 minute and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. If you want to further divide, that will be millisecond, microsecond, nanosecond, whatever case may be, that is used in scientific laboratories, not in normal life. Normal life we are limited only up to minute. Okay. Now, we are going to start exercise 4.3. Question number 1, name the angles in the given figure, ok, figure is there, so we will write different angle, angle A is equal to angle D A B, angle B is equal to name will be angle A B C angle C angle C is equal to uh, here we will amend it should not get create confusion angle C is equal to angle B C D angle D is equal to angle C D A. Okay. A B A B C D. So angle A also can be written as angle B A D. This angle B also can be written as angle C B A. This angle C also can be written as angle D C B and angle D also can be written as angle angle A B and C. So, there are four angles in the figure and they are like that. You can write either in this pattern or in this pattern. We will go for second question. Next, we will solve question number 2. This has got three questions. We will do 
इच क्वेश्चन वन बाई वन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर ए इन द गिवन डायग्राम नेम द पॉइंट्स फर्स्ट इन द इंटीरियर ऑफ एंगल डीओई डीओई ओके इंटीरियर ऑफ दिस एंगल वी हैव टू फाइंड व्हाट इज द पॉइंट पॉइंट इज ए सो आंसर विल बी पॉइंट ए is the answer we will take now question number b in the given diagram name the point or points in the exterior of angle eof eof so here is a point and this is also a point that is exterior so we can give points point c and point a okay then third question that is question number c on the angle eof angle eof so we have got point E, e is there point b is there point f is there and even point o is there so these are the point on angle e o f now we will go for question number 3 draw rough diagrams of two angles such that they have this has got five question we will take that is 3 a one point in common so this can be done in two ways first way we have drawn ab we have drawn cd okay they are intersecting at a point o now angle aod and angle cob are the two angles which is having only one common point that is o and angle aoc and angle bod are the two angles which is also having only o point common so i will write here okay first you listen then i will write this can be solved in this way also we will draw a b c so and we will draw d b e so two angles one angle and two angle okay so for this this diagram i will write angle a b c and angle d b e is is having it will not come is it will come r r having b point comma okay so angle abc and angle dbe are having b point common only one point common so i will erase this one and i will write for that one also in this figure angle aod and angle cob are having having o point common okay alternatively i will write here 
for that one i will erase this one and i will write angle aoc and angle bod are having having o point in common in common so question number 3 a i have solved in three ways okay two ways here and one way earlier we i have explained now we will go for question number 3 b so two points in common okay we will do we will draw okay now see a b c and a d okay so you see two angles one angle and second angle so in angle angles a b c and c b d okay b and c are common points they are they are in two numbers what are the points one is b and one is c in a b c a a is there b is there c is there but a is not there in c b d c b d okay but b is there in c b d c is there in c b d and in c b d c is there b is there d is not there so two points in common understood so now we will go for third question okay three points in common now we will take the third question that is question number 3 c okay three points in common so i will draw two lines okay one line and second line i will give the name so a b c and d the intersection point is o now we will take different cases the so first case case 1 case 1 in case 1 we will take two angles aoc aoc and angle dob dob in this case we see that only o is common okay only o is coming so we will write only o is common this is not zero this is o common okay now we'll take another case case number 2 case 2 now we will take okay aod angle aod and 
एंगल सी ओ बी एन एंगल सी ओ बी हेयर ऑल्सो वी सी दैट ओनली ओ इज कॉमन ओनली ओनली ओ इज कॉमन ओके देन वी विल टेक थर्ड केस For that one, I will erase the upper portion. That is case number one, and we will write here case three. Case three. Case three. Now we will take AOC angle AOC and angle. A O B angle A O B. Okay. In this case, we see that A and O are common. Okay. Here, here A and O are common. so okay we will take case number 4 that you take a c o b and c o d here also two points common so you take any way either one point will be common or two point will be common we cannot have three point common so we will write a conclusion Okay, you take many any case, so we will write a conclusion. For that one, I will erase this, clear this word, and I will write the conclusion. Conclusion. It is not possible. to have three common points common points in two angles okay so you take you take different case okay na maximum again you write maximum two common points common points can be had we can have only maximum two common points in out of two angles okay so we have completed c now we will go for d so one common point is possible and two common points are possible so three points common points are not possible now we will go for d okay so in c in c we have seen that three common points cannot be had out of two angles so it is not possible to have four points also so i will write here conclusion it is not possible to have three common points in two angles or three or three or more three or more common points in two angles maximum two common points can be had so answer for d1 is this one now we'll go for question number e 
Okay, we will try to make one two angles. So for that one, I will take a line. Okay, this line, this line, and this line. I will give the name to the line. Sorry, A, B, C, and A, B, and C, B, D. So, two angles, two angles are R A B C angle A B C and angle C B D in which in which okay we will put a okay that is the mark for ray which has has B C rays as common. Okay. So one ray we are having common that is in two angles are A B C and C B D, where B C is a ray which is common for both the angles like that we have completed a b c d and e questions of question number 3 and by this we have completed the exercise we will go for our next exercise that is 4.4 here we will end this video further discussion will be in our next video